Okay. Uh, we're going to create a character in Drift's workspace. File. Create a new character. All right, we got our character, Annabel Molden. Let's just go with Annabel. Mix, mix it up. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's say we want Hannibal Mulder to, well, maybe he's an FBI agent. Uh, so we'll go with legal enforcement powers. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's an FBI agent. FBI agent. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, so uh, an FBI agent um, probably has some, some physical training, so it's a bump up in strength and probably kind of smart. Yeah, probably pretty smart. I mean, like, he's an FBI agent, right? And just generally pretty good attributes. Um, oh, uh, he should know how to shoot a gun. So we'll go to skills, basic set, uh, guns, and pistol. There we go. Perfect. That's fantastic. And we'll spend a few more points on that because he's he's not he's not a bad shot. He knows how to shoot a gun. Um, fortune's fortune's pretty good. Now we have to get him a gun. So go to We'll just use the gun for basic set. Uh, automatic pistol, probably. Go to something from tech level eight. That's the modern era. So if we're making a, a faux molder, might as well get this one. You, you should be able to afford that. Um, So now you can shoot this and uh, let's bump up his dexterity a little bit. That's an important stat. All right. Okay. I'm going to change his health. If you'll notice, his basic speed will increase to six. His basic speed increased to six. His dodge is now nine. That's because your dodge is your basic speed plus three. And your basic speed is your dexterity and health divided by four, which is why it's yeah. Anyway, um, so now Hannibal Mulder, our um, FBI agent, should also definitely have uh, expert conspiracy theory. There we go. Great. Definitely. Let's just put this up at a sixteen. Uh, so he definitely knows all there is to know. Maybe. Of uh, of this uh, of conspiracies, um, yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, that's equipment skills advantages. Oh, uh, let's say he um, also. Uh, let's say let's see. he is a. Horseman, and uh, maybe not a horseman. Uh, let's say he has a body of ice. Yeah, uh, he's got a body body of ice. Uh, horrible accident. Um, now he's a two hundred and forty three point character with this meta trait, body of ice. Ah, damage. Ah, nice, nice. Damage resistance three. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Anyway, so now he has this uh, body of ice. This is a template. Well, specifically, this is a meta trait, which is a template. And you can create a character template by clicking here and pile on all sorts, all sorts of stuff like this person with all these expert skills, such as natural philosophy, conspiracy theory, epidemia. That's, uh, that's that's also Mulder. We should have these as well. So I'm just gonna drag this over. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to, well, I can just put these all together. 
also, I would, uh, I think, I think you should have a reputation, uh, disadvantages, and it should be, um, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's say it's the FBI. That might be a large group of people. I don't know. Either way, he's always recognized. And, uh, um, that's small. Let's say it's the FBI. We can change that if, uh, the GM thinks that, uh, they think he's a whack job or something. Uh, spooky. There we go. Whoops. Spooky. All right. So, uh, let's, uh, let's make a folder for the advantages, just to make things a little easier. Uh, let's put the illegal enforcement in there, and let's make another, uh, folder for, uh, disadvantages. There we go. That should be in the advantages. All right. So that's how you monkey around with GURPS workspace.